Uh, when I first retired from the sport, I, I put on 50 kilograms. Uh, so now I've lost uh, 45 kilograms. Um, so I'm, I'm racing at about 95, 96 kilograms now. So uh, for me, I think it's a good weight. Uh, you know, my skin folds are down, um, so there's very little body fat that's on me. And, um, you know, within the next 15 weeks, we'll bring my weight down a little bit further and, and bring my skin folds down as well. And, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see how we go in, uh, in 15 weeks throughout the time. Having Therese here is awesome. Um, I mean, she brings a level of professionalism to the squad that makes everyone else uh, step up to that next level. Um, you know, obviously with the results that she's had in the pool over the last, you know, up to 10 years, it's just been amazing. Um, you know, just her, uh, I guess her level of confidence, her level of professionalism, the way she approaches the training session. Um, and we as individuals learn a lot from her. I remember a lot um, from that day. It only seemed like it was yesterday. It's hard to imagine that it was, you know, 11 and a half years ago. But um, you know, it was um, it, it was it was my first Olympics for me. It was um, it, it was a moment that you never ever forget. Um, you know, I remember that swim. I, I remember Lars coming down on the outside of Michael Klim, and um, you know, those, those guys in that first 50, they were miles in front of me, and I really had to claw it back and, and really had to take it back and. And, and for me to come away with a bronze medal was quite exciting. Um, you know, as I said, it was my first Olympic Games. I, you know, I, I stepped up in, in my own home country, and um, you know, hopefully we'll, uh, you know, be able to come come home with a medal next year in London. I, I regret a lot of things in my life. Um, you know, I, I struggle with a lot of things from my identity um, to, to walking away from the sport and, and not setting up that life after sport. Um, you know, I, I, I guess 16 years. I was swimming in 16 years in the same pool, doing the same thing with the same coach. Naturally, it was to swing the pendulum in the opposite direction. Um, you know, so you know, instead of going to the pool at 4 a.m., I was hell bent on staying up until 4 a.m. And then instead of living a life of diet and exercise, I turned to a life of um, booze and alcohol, um, and also drugs as well. And um, you know, as I said, I, I, I made some pretty poor choices at that point of time. Um, but I, I, I think life is about learning from your mistakes and being able. To to, um, to pick yourself up when you, you've uh, been knocked to the canvas, so to speak. And it's how you rebuild and you learn from your experiences and, and you move on from there. And, and hopefully, you know, you can share, not only just talk about it and share it, but, but get some of the younger kids to not make the same poor choices that you made in life. Um, you know, when I came back into the sport, that was my ultimate goal. It's, it's not about winning gold medals or breaking world records. It, it's being a motivator for the younger guys that I swim with to get them to look at the sport in a different angle to make sure that you know you look at your competition from a certain way or look at your approach to life after sport in a certain way and, and for me that's what I get my excitement out of you know if I get an opportunity to go to another Olympic Games and to help a relay team come home with the medal then you know it's icing on the cake.